Alright, welcome to the episodic sense of time and it presents Zipless tutorial. I'm glad you're interested in learning about and maybe even running this category. So in this video I want to cover the basics of getting started for this run, like the graphical settings, the keybinds you have to do, useful tools, which maybe help you throughout your journey. So after creating a new profile, you want to go into the options, into the graphics submenu, and to what you want to do is you want to turn all the effects off, as it improves the visuals of the game, especially when rewinding, because with effects on, it's very hard to determine the exact position of the prints, which can be hindering for rewind tricks, for example, so you want to turn those off. Further, in the advanced tab on the left, you want VSync to be turned on, as is stated by the rules, because the game has to run at 60 FPS, everything above that really makes the game unplayable. So for example, if you have a 144Hz monitor, you have to set the refresh rate of your monitor to 60, then the Windows settings, Nvidia settings, wherever you can and want to do that. Now for the keybinds, as in this category, there's a so-called first-person glitch, which will be used heavily throughout the run. So you have to configure a controller in the controls, respectively, gamepad menu. And in a new profile, the gamepad is not bound at all, so you have to bind your controller manually. You do that by double-clicking a field until you see a blinking underscore, and then you press the button on your controller, which you want to map to the respective action. As this category is also heavily movement-based, I advise you to do the whole run on controller regardless. As you see in the top right corner, I myself play with an Xbox 360 controller. And if you want to copy my control binds, they are as follows. I jump with A, X is attack, B is cancel, Y is bound to the dagger, RB is wall running or special action, LB is the first person button, the right trigger is the landscape view, the left trigger is rewinding, and select is reset camera. Another note, if you're playing on controller, especially on Xbox 360 controller, you might encounter some dead zones when trying to run diagonally. So you try to run, but the prince is just walking slowly. To fix that, you have to recalibrate your controller in the Windows system settings. I put you a link on how to do that into the video description. Also, there are a few programs which could and probably will help you on your journey through this run. All of the programs are linked maybe with an explanation on how to use them if necessary in the description. First of all there's a download for all the save points for practicing. Then there's a program called DXWind which you need if you want to play the game in windowed mode. Then there's a program called Esotikula which closes the game if you press the num5 key after you follow the instructions written down with it. That program is not necessary. It saves around 10 seconds over alt tabbing and closing the game manually throughout the run and exists to assure consistent game reload times after saving because those can differ amongst the DX Wind and the full screen players. And last of all there's a trainer, which is a program that gives you infinite sand, infinite health, infinite rewind timer, um, which is obviously not allowed in the run but really good for practicing. So yeah, all of that is linked in the description of this video. So now you should be all set up to start learning the run. And next up is a video to cover everything about the basic movement in this game as well as the first four minutes, also referred to as the early game. On a small side note, the early game in the any% percent and the any% percent zipless run is exactly the same. So I'll be recycling the respective episode from the any% percent tutorial, which was originally done by Catalyst. He also has a keyboard input viewer in his video, which you shouldn't pay any attention to for this category, just to ensure you're not confused about that. And you'll hear from me again at the beginning of the third episode, which will serve as a guide about all the glitches used throughout this run.